Hello, welcome to my record collection, or welcome to Ballroom 23. Um, let's see, how do I start this? Uh, this first video will be a trip into my soundtrack collection, a genre that really hasn't been represented here in this vinyl community. Um, I'm not a soundtrack collector, although I do collect soundtracks. I'm not, I don't have a huge amount of soundtracks. I maybe have about a hundred. Um, about a hundred soundtrack, actual soundtracks and um, soundtrack compilations, like various artist compilations of uh, 60s and 70s music. Uh, let's see, I think the first soundtrack I ever bought or ever owned was uh, the Beatles Help album, which was when I was uh, probably in elementary school, probably about eight or nine. And the last soundtrack I got was recently the uh, Johnny Greenwood soundtrack to Norwegian Wood which has a Beatles connection obviously and um, it's a good soundtrack and it's also got really good tracks from the band Can. Anyway, let's get started. First record I have is Francis Lay's soundtrack to a man and a woman. Pretty good soundtrack if you like. That easy, easy listening, easy tempo, pop music. Pretty nice stuff. Pretty nice stuff. Uh, the next one is the soundtrack to Agent Special LK. It's a Jess Franco movie. Jess Franco is a, uh, well, he's not a famous director, but he's a Spanish director that did a lot of well-known exploitation movies, some involving vampires, lots of nudity, lots of terrible plot. A lot of terrible plot styles. Wonderful, wonderful movies. This is a pretty good soundtrack. Not the best, but it's got a great cover. Barbarella. Soundtrack to uh, the Roger Vadim movie. Of course, it's got Jane Fonda, John Philip Law, and Marcel Marceau. And David Hemmings also makes an appearance. Um, let's see, it's the uh, people who do the music is a Bob Crew. Bob Crew is famous for uh, uh, music to watch girls by. Maybe some of you are familiar with that. Maybe some of you aren't. Anyway, this is a pretty good soundtrack. Great movie. If you can find it, I definitely recommend getting it. Or if you have a chance to rent it or watch it, it's a great movie, great campy movie. Definitely a great artifact from its time. Uh, next up, it's the uh, Ennio Morricone soundtrack to the Battle of Algiers. This is actually a really good movie. I recommend. I recommend you check this out. It's not a famous Morricone. It's not a famous Morricone soundtrack, but the movie itself is. Uh, I think it was nominated for an Academy Award in 1965, 1964, and I'm not remembering the director's name. 
I'll have to get back to you on that. But anyway, good soundtrack. Great stuff by Ennio Morricone. Next up we have a John Barry compilation. One of my favorite movie composers. This is called his uh, Greatest Movie Hits. It's got uh, Goldfinger from Russia with Love. James Bond theme. The girl with sun in her hair. Born Free. Good stuff. I think he was married to Jane Birkin, who later became Serge Gainsbourg's wife. Um, next up is a library compilation called Barry Seven Connectors. There's two volumes of this compilation. I only have the first. Um, it's a collection of library music. Um, people like Roger Roger, Pierre Piacone, and I think Ennio Morricone makes an appearance or two on this compilation. Good the stuff. Elevator? Oh, we'll ride the elevator. We'll ride the elevator. Okay, uh, next up is a uh, horror soundtrack composed by uh, Fabio Frizzi. And it's the soundtrack to Beyond, or La Aldea, Et tu virai nel terror. It's the Beyond. It's a Mario Bava movie. Great, great horror movie. Pretty good soundtrack. Not the best, but uh, interesting, interesting horror themes. I'll show you the back cover. This is a, a reissue on Daggered. Made in Italy. I have a lot of Daggerhead pressings of uh, Italian soundtracks. They did a pretty good, or they still actually do a pretty good job of releasing, re releasing them. Next up is another John Barry soundtrack to the movie Black Hole. If you're familiar with the Beta Band, they sampled the Overture from one of their songs. I can't remember what song it is, but I know they do sample this soundtrack. It's a pretty good, pretty good soundtrack. Not John Barry's best, but pretty cool movie. I remember when I was a kid. Next up is this Bombay Connection. It's a compilation of Indian film songs, mostly varying on the uh, Funky side. Lots of jazz, funk, and disco elements. If you know anything about Bollywood or Bollywood soundtracks, you know that they are all over the place stylistically. Pretty good. Yeah, here's the back cover. I recommend I recommend anybody who's into well, any of those genres of music give this album a chance or if you can find it. I don't know if it's in print anymore, but this is really good, really good stuff. Uh, soundtrack to Bonnie and Clyde, or music inspired by Bonnie and Clyde. It's the movie that had Warren Beatty and Faye Dunaway. Henry Mancini's Breakfast at Tiffany's. It has Moon River, pretty uh, popular song back in the early 60s. Good movie, good movie. Pretty good soundtrack. Next up, Car Wash. Car Wash. I'm not going to say anything about that movie, although I like, I like the soundtrack. It's good. Clockwork Orange. Good movie. Great soundtrack. Uh, a lot of uh, classical music, especially done by Walter Carlos, who later became Wendy Carlos. But, uh, yep, great stuff. Great stuff. 
definitely check this out. Or uh, if you can't find the actual soundtrack, I recommend looking for some Wendy Carlos recordings. Pretty good. Pretty out there. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Probably one of my favorite movies in the 70s. Along with Star Wars. Um, yep. Basic John Williams score. Good, but, you know, John Williams is... He's John Williams. You can't really go wrong, but he's not... He's not what I would consider great, but he's, uh, he's pretty good. Anyway, Colors, good soundtrack, do you like uh, late 80s hip hop, Ice-T, Big Daddy Kane, Salt and Peppa, there's a great Eric B and Rakim uh, version of Paid in Full, it's the 7 Minutes of Madness, the Cold Cut remix, it's a pretty, pretty popular remix. Cool G rap, Roxanne Chante. Good stuff. Awesome stuff. DC Cam. Basically, uh, various artists. It's got Mr. T on the cover. Mr. T was in the movie. Lou Ferrigno was also in the movie. Um, Paul Rodriguez, also. Anyway. Mm, not so great. Irene Cara, Gary U.S. Bonds, DeBarge. It's okay. It's pretty campy. Pretty good if you like these that, that kind of thing. Dawn of the Dead. This is a reissue of the Dawn of the Dead soundtrack by... Goblin. Um, yep, Dawn of the Dead. Great movie. This is actually a really good soundtrack. The first... The first song sounds like a uh, really turgid Black Sabbath with uh, synthesizers. Really, really do me. Goblin. Goblin is the shit. But, um, yeah, I recommend the soundtrack. And then next up, I think this will be the last record I show in this video, is the unreleased soundtrack music from George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. And this contains all the incidental music, library cuts. Um, there is a Pretty Things song on here, but... They are not known as the pretty things. They are known as the electric banana. I think it's an electric banana cut. That's on here. This was released on Trunk Records in 2004. And, um, yeah, it's a great collection of, uh, well, if you know, the DeWolf soundtrack library of music. This is a great compilation of um, cuts from that library. Uh, it's not available on LP anymore, but I think you can still get the CD through Trunk Records. Anyway, I'm going to quit here, and um, I'll see you in part two. Goodbye.